Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Velelene Nkosi. In this video, I'm working on a previous question paper. The, the question is based on human ear. So today, I will answer this question paper. The paper was written in November 2023 from the Department of Basic Education is for Life Sciences Paper War. So if maybe you want to work on this question before you see the solutions, then you can post the video here, then answer all this question. Then after you can continue see the solutions. So without wasting more time, let's get to it. So before I read the questions, let me give this diagram uh, the labels. So 1.4, the question say the diagram below represents the human ear so this is a human ear and then i have to give the labels so uh, number a number a are ossicles so this is the three bones that are in the middle ear its functions is to amplify vibrations so the name of this three bones are ossicles each uh, bone has a name this one is hammer and then the middle one is anvil and then the last one is stirrup but when they are all together we call them ossicles or ossicles bow so number a is ossicles number b are the semicircular canal so this part here the it's called semicircular canal is responsible for balance so And then number C, it's a cochlea. That is where the auditory nerve is connected. So auditory nerve leaves the cochlea to the brain. So this is the cochlea. While number D, it's an eustachian tube or eustachian tube. This tube is connected to the throat at the back of our neck. This tube is connected there so that the tympanic membrane is able to vibrate. So it equalizes the pressure both sides of the tympanic membrane. So we call it a station chuk. And then number E. Number E is a round window. If the, there is a excess wave pressure in the cochlea, then the oval, um, I mean the round window, will absorb it. This is round window. While number F, it's a tympanic membrane. It's a tympanic membrane. So this is the labels. So before we answer the questions, so it's very important to label every label here so that when you answer the questions, it will just flow. So first question, 1.4.1 say identify the part and number A, the part B, while number B, the part E. So part A are ossicles, while part E, it's a round wind. So And then number B, it's a round window. Then the next question, the next question, 1.4.2, so give the letter and the name of the part that is filled with A for number A, then number B, it contains the organ of code. So here we have to give the letter and the name. So because if you can see it's two marks, so you have to write the letter and the name. So 1.4.2, Number A, so the, the letter and the name that is filled with A, it's a eustachian tube. So like we said, it's the one that equalizes pressure or balance pressure both sides of the tympanic. So outside and the middle ear, the pressure must be the same so that the, the membrane will be able to vibrate. So this tube is filled with A. Then number A, I will say D. And the name, eustachian tube. And then number B, the one that it contains the organ of Kuti. So the organ of Kuti, the receptor. So it's in the cochlea. So organ of Kuti is the one that is taking this information, then convert it into the impulse so that it, the information can travel to the brain, then 
the plane will be able to translate this information. So this is where the organ of Koti is inside the cochlea. So the letter is C and the name is cochlea. Then the next question say, if the letter of the part where the chromates are inserted, so this let this chromates it's a it's where it helps, especially in children if they have a problem of ear. So this tube is inserted in in the ear, so it passes through the tympanic membrane. Then to take if there is a moist in the middle ear, so this tube will take out this moist, so it will drain the moist. So the letter where the chromate is inserted is in the letter F in the tympanic membrane. So 1.4, 1.3, number A, it's F, it's in the tympanic membrane because here they say only the letter. So it, we don't write the name, we write only the letter. And then number B, say uh, the letter of the part that amplify vibrations. So the one that is amplifying vibration are ossicle bones. So these bones function is to amplify vibrations. So if they take the vibrations from the tympanic membrane, then they increase it, then transfer it to the cochlea. So here the letter is the letter A. So now we have answered everything. So if you want to see the memo, then you can see the memo. I have the memo here. This is these are the questions. You can post this video here, then compare. If you have watched this video to this far, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you are studying, good luck with your studies. Thank you very much. God bless.